Hi, I'm Stephanie, an assistant librarian here at East Mississippi Community College. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to use our online library catalog to find books, ebooks, and other materials that might be useful for completing your assignments. You can access the library's page via our website. Start from EMCC's main page, eastms.edu, and click the library link here. The EMCC library page will open up in a new tab or a new window. Let's quickly look at some of the features on this page. The catalog search bar is right up here. I'll get back to that in just a minute. After watching this video, you'll be able to understand the purpose of a library catalog, be able to find and search the library catalog using keywords, search for different types of resources, and then locate and obtain the resource that you need. Over here, we have the hours of operation for our SCUBA Campus Library, and below that, we have the hours of operation for the GT Campus Library. On the other side of the library website, we have a link to our YouTube page, which houses more helpful screencasts like this one. We have a link to our Facebook page, where you can like the library. And below that, we have a stream of our Twitter feed. Over here, we have a link to a page with contact information for everyone on both campuses. When you want to return to the library's main page, just click the home icon right here. Here in the center, we have a rotating display of our library's newest items. Our online library catalog is a tool that allows users to search the EMCC collection as well as the collections of more than 50 other public and school libraries. This includes Mississippi State and the Mississippi University for Women. Thanks to the Mississippi Library Partnership, libraries across the state are able to share resources, that's more than 2.9 million titles, to better serve students and community members. From the search bar, you can do a few different types of searches, and it's just as easy as typing a search into Google. The different options for searching look like this. You can do a library search. You can search only for online resources. You can search for course reserves or you can search specifically for ebooks. I'm going to leave it at everything. Over here, we have a search for all fields. You can search specifically for a book's title. You can search for a specific author. You can search for an author keyword, a specific Library of Congress subject. Or you can search for a subject keyword. Down here, you can search for a book's international standard book number. I'm going to leave the search at all fields. Say I need to find a book today to use as a resource for my athletic training paper. I'm going to leave these search options as they are, and I'm going to type sports medicine into the search field. I hit search, and my results appear. Like Google, our catalog will try and show you the best and most relevant search results. Even if you might spell an author's name wrong or not be able to recall the entire title of a book, now if you recall, I said I needed this book today, so I'm going to use a few different search limiters to find exactly what I want. I'm going to come over here and select EMCC SCUBA, which is my home location, and I'm going to hit Include. This excludes all the books located at libraries that aren't on my campus. I'm also going to hit Include for material type book, because I don't want a DVD or a CD-ROM. Let's take a look at our results. When I spot a book that looks promising, the next step is to view the full record. Just click the title to view the record. Here we have title, author, international standard book number, edition information, publication information, and subject information. If I scroll down, it also shows me who has this book, and I see it's only held by SCUBA. Right here, I see the shelf number. This is also known as the call number, and it's your key to finding the book out there on the shelf. Our books are arranged by Library of Congress subject-based call number. You can always ask a librarian for help finding something on the shelf. Once you've gotten the information you need from a record, close it by hitting the black X at the top right corner. Next, I'm going to show you how to request a book from another library. You can reset your search and return to the main library page again very quickly by hitting the Home button. 
I want to read a novel just for fun. So I'll put my cursor back into the search field and type in a title that I'm interested in reading. And I'm going to hit search. Looking at my results, I see that there are no copies immediately available. That is fine. I'm going to place a hold. I'm just going to click on the result to see who has the book. Here I can note that the book is not held by my home library, the EMCC Scuba Campus. That's not a problem. I'm going to scroll up just a bit and I'm going to click the place hold button. This opens up a new window. Next, I'm just going to enter my seven digit student ID number followed by the PIN. Your PIN is automatically set to be the last four digits of your student ID number, but you'll be given the option to change it to something secret, and that's what you should do. Here I see the hold window with the book's title and the pickup library, My Home Library, and all I have to do is click the Place Hold button. I see that the action was a success, and I click the OK button. That closes the window and returns me to my search results. Books that you request take about two weeks to arrive, and you'll receive an email at your school email address when your book arrives at the EMCC library. You can order books from other libraries for your school assignments, it's just important to remember that they will take a little while to arrive. My final word is another reminder. Make sure that you bring your student ID to the library. Whether you're going to find a book or pick up a book that you reserved, you'll need it for checkout. Thank you for watching the video and happy searching.